Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Alaikum Salam. Okay, so how are you? Can you hear me? Fine, thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay, so basically today I will try to discuss about the rest of the part of land use land cover classification map. So previous day I will try to discuss about the land use land cover classification map for a small region such as Dhaka city and then we also try to calculate the land use land classification area using the chart. Okay, we created the bar column chart and then calculated the area in hectare unit. Okay. So today I also try to show you the okay. some advanced topic of land use land cover classification map. How you can easily make the land use land cover classification map for the big region. Okay, any big region or any big location, how we can easily make the land use and land cover classification map. Okay. So let's go over today's class. So if you have any question, <laughs> you can ask me any question. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I have um, some questions um, yeah. about the, <coughs> uh, the previous uh, sessions. Yeah, okay. No problem. If possible, you can simply share your skin and then find out the problem. I also try to solve the problem. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, after, before I screen my, um, uh, sorry, I share my screen, um, I have some questions um, about uh, <coughs> the old data. I asked you before. Uh, yeah, so what's the data? What's the data? What's the data name? Uh, the question is that in DVI, <coughs> in DVI, I need to... Uh, okay, you can, to impossible, know. you can share the skin. So in this time, uh, okay. So, Sorry. yeah, I, uh, I out uh, by um, wrong. Um, I asked you before uh, the all the data for NDVI for the period from um, uh, 1990 to uh, 2000. This data, uh, when I entered this uh, date, uh, yeah. it gave me no data available. Okay, so I check it. This data set is available or not? Then we also try to discuss. Just a minute. I simply go to the data set, browse data catalog. Uh, I can't see your uh, your screen. Okay, Please okay, oh, okay, okay. That's nice. Share my screen. <coughs> okay, so now can you see my? Yeah. <coughs> yes. So I simply search at the land set NDVI. Then check according to our time period is available or not. So land set eight, land set eight, land set eight, Modi Star Daily NDVI, land set eight. Or check Landsat 5. So we can check the Landsat 5. How many years? So we can get the data set you can see uh, using the Landsat 5 collection. It's mainly annual greenest pixel value. Okay. And you can see the uh, it's mainly provide the annual greenest pixel value. This data set. And uh, okay. Greenness. You can see greenness. Uh, it's provide you the greenness. Actually, this greenness is that uh, how many visitation is available for any specific region. Uh, how, what's the uh, greenness? Greenness is mainly identify the visitation. Okay, so this data set is available 1984 nine, nine, from 2012. Okay, so you can use this and then you can make this NDVI map also. And it's the annual data set. Okay, so we can get the every each year. Suppose 1984, then 1985. Okay, like this. 986 this type of data we can get from here okay uh, i um, <coughs> i um, uh, this the steps is uh, as you discussed before yeah same, same 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 okay so you have to try to check the another data set it's showing the land set five you have to check the another data set is available or not okay so uh, this means that this means is that uh, vegetation uh, i uh, i can obtain uh, vegetation uh, from more than um, uh, 
from more than uh, applications uh, if uh, um, I can't uh, understand I can't uh, discuss to you um, you before um, give uh, the vegetation or explore yeah. the vegetation from modis from yeah. modis yeah modis yeah and it, yeah. yes uh, this means that uh, I can obtain vegetation, vegetation from uh, Lancet, Lancet on... Uh, yeah, uh, so in this time you can see Lancet uh, is also available in here, but we can also apply the satellite image. Basically, this data set is already created as a showing the annual Guinness pixel value on the Earth's surface. But if you want, you can use the Lancet data directly. Suppose you want to use the Lancet satellite data, and then you can use the band calculation, such as NDV equation near minus red divided by near plus red this equation when you want to apply then you can easily get the result suppose i also try to show you the example suppose you want to need the map for uh, this time period 1900 uh, suppose in you need a uh, map for this time period okay so you can simply click to here and then you need to use this satellite image so you can see top of atmospheric surface luminance so mainly we are using the top of atmospheric for calculating the indices okay you can see this data set provide you the uh, image between this time period okay and you can see here i need to the near infrared band and red band because when you want to identify the vegetation you need only for the two band near infrared band and red band okay so i think i also try to i already show you this part how you can easily mm -hmm. calculation band calculation such as you can yes, see yes. ndvi yes, yes. equation so this type of equation we already solved such as ndv equation is that uh you can see already that provide the ndv near infrared minus rate divided by near plus rate okay so in this time you can just filter this image collection okay and how you can easily filter this image collection we already show you this part okay so filter yes. bounds filter date filter metadata you can put all of the things okay then you need to select your band in this time you need to select the red band and near infrared band okay you can see red band is the b3 and near infrared band is the b, uh, b4 okay so you can simply follow this method and then you can simply select your specific time period of satellite images from this lancet 4 uh, this image collection and then you can easily make the any time period ndvi map okay so you also try yes. to do uh, try to do this and then face any problem then you also try to discuss but you can use the Lancet for this type of image and then filter it. After filtering, you need to select the two band, red band and near infrared band. Then you apply yes. the equation, near infrared band minus red band divided by near infrared band plus red band. Then you try to show this result in DVI map. Okay? Yes. yes. Okay, so you have to follow this. Then face any problem, then you will try to discuss. Okay? So in this time, I simply... Any question? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if we have... Um... <clears throat> yeah. And, uh, sorry. I want to translate um, one word coordinates. Yes. Uh, if I have uh, coordinates um, to a specific region, old to a specific region, I, ha I have a coordinates. Uh, who are north and uh, uh, south? Are you understanding me? Yeah, I don't understand what's the north or coordinate um, that we obtain them from uh, GPS latitude, longitude, and so on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So suppose if, if I have, yeah. if I have, if I have some uh, coordinates, coordinates, some, yeah. Uh, coordinates, yes. Uh, and uh, I uh, I need um, to explore these points on uh, a specific um, uh, map like um, Mecca. Uh, yeah. I don't uh, want uh, all Mecca. I, I need a specific region. And I have uh, its uh, coordinates. How can I... Um, Import in Google Earth uh, Engine platform uh, or the coordinates. Coordinate. Yeah. Okay. So you can easily import. The coordinate so you can see uh, if possible you can simply uh, share your uh, uh, file uh, with me then I also import this and try to show you this part 
how you can easily uh, import this coordinate so mainly coordinate is such a point okay so any point a specific location so we can easily import the csv file i hope you can see my skin you can see uh, as a tab there also put the option csv file okay so this is csv mm -hmm. file you can easily import and this csv file has a some coordinate suppose excel file latitude longitude okay you have the latitude and longitude of this uh, any specific location okay then you can easily uh, import this uh, excel file in here as a csv file format okay this is such as the csv file format and then you can simply mm -hmm. upload this mm -hmm. okay then we can easily try to show you all of the point which point you want to show on your excel file you can easily add this point mm -hmm. okay we can easily do it okay okay thank you yeah uh, another question please yeah yeah no uh, yeah please can 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 i um predict can i predict uh, predict are you understand me the prediction uh, you want to predict yes, anything prediction. Yeah. Yes, predict uh, the um, uh, invasion of uh, a specific uh, uh, species to a specific region for uh, for future. Can I uh, predict them from the um, satellite from the satellite image yeah. Uh, available? Yeah. yeah, it's also possible. Suppose when you want to so in this time we are using the JavaScript API, but when you want to make the prediction or a prediction types of work suppose you want to predict what is the ndvi for the Saudi arabia uh, in the next uh, year 2030 what is the in condition of the ndvi then we move yes. to use here the python api okay we need to use here the python programming language with the, uh, google Ads engine platform but it also possible yeah we need to use here the python okay so then when you we can easily prediction or easily predict we can easily apply the different types of deep learning as well as also using the different types of machine learning tensor follow keras we can easily add with python and google Ads engine platform then we can easily predict uh, any types of ndv ndwi suppose you want to uh, predict it, the land use land cover uh, change in the future we can also do it in the python as well as if you want you can also do it using the arcmap software which software I already provide you, ArcMap software or ArcGIS software, it also possible using the ArcMap software randomly. Just you can click, 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 then we can easily uh, make the prediction map of land use land cover classification. What is the condition of the vegetation for the year of 2013? What is the condition of the uh, build up area year of 2013? We can easily do it okay, using the ArcMap also. ArcMap, ArcMap uh, can also be uh, used for this prediction. Yeah, for the uh, land use land cover prediction, we are also using this as well as also QGIS software is also possible using the uh, uh, using the land use land cover prediction QGIS. This software you can see. Yeah, yes. So it's a free source software. Uh, you can easily download this software and work with this. So QGIS software. And it is very uh, easy way we can easily doing the lot of feature okay, you can see the download the qgs recent version 3.28 okay. you can easily download and it's very easy because uh this is the this is the totally free sources okay this is a free sources software we are easily using but arcmap is not free okay for the arcmap you have to pay otherwise you need you need to use at the crack software okay so if you, uh, this is the very uh, very cool software for using the remote sensing work as well as also GIS work very easily doing and it supported the Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS okay all of the system is support operating system is supported okay so you also try to download this because it's also uh, help you for different types of work easily we can do okay okay so any question um um <coughs> if i uh, if i ask you to um yeah learn me um, how qgis uh, work um, um yeah, is this uh, will be more effort uh, to you so do you want to also learn the qgis yes okay so we can yeah. So we can, we can. I, I had, I have uh, um, a solution. We can um, uh, excluding or uh, delete um, sessions from uh, Earth Engine 
yeah. uh, and uh, complete or uh, understand or discuss uh, them for me because it is very important um, uh, to my articles. Okay, so basically prediction, when you want to move to the prediction, it can be land use, land cover prediction or any types of prediction. So there is our another course module or another course content. Okay, so this is another advanced high level uh, uh, online training program for suppose you want to make the land use land cover prediction. It's a totally different uh, course module. Uh, okay. Uh, so in this much? time, you in this how time much? in this time you can uh, finish the Google Earth Engine platform and learn all the things because you can see. Uh, I also explain all of the things. Suppose you want to predict the land use land cover classification map for year of 2013. What is the condition? First of all, you need to prefer three or four LULC map first time. Suppose year of 2000, 2050, 2020. Okay, you can create the three LULC map for your region. Using this three LULC map, as well as also you need to use at the distance from road map. You also need to create distance from roadmap. So other factor you need to create. Then you can use all of the data using the QJ software or ArcMap software for prediction, LULC. Okay. So first of all, you have to create it, some map using the Google Earth Engine platform for uh, year of 2000, 2005, 2010. And using all of the data, you need to predict for the future. Okay. So this is okay. the an totally another uh, course module for the future prediction of land use land cover classification map using the arc map software as well as also qj software okay. and this is very highly so because the, in this time a lot of work will be done using the prediction okay so that's why okay. it's also um, all, yeah how, how many days um, does it will take um, or uh, and how much uh, does it cost Okay, so this, uh, okay, so prediction course, oh, mainly, uh, okay, so I will text you in our WhatsApp, your WhatsApp. <coughs> okay, so after completing the class, we also try to discuss about that. I also send you all of the uh, course module, as well as also send you all of the things, how you can start this uh, uh, prediction online training program, and you can easily understand, okay? so. Today we also try to start uh, uh, our class. After completing this class, I also send you all of the information. Then it's better. Okay. 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 So uh, now we'll start our class. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. 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 So okay. So I simply okay. If, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. If I if I uh, if I need to know uh, the distribution of a specific uh, uh, species. Yeah. Uh, to uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, yeah. Then you have to uh, need the ground truth data. Yeah. What? Then you have to the GPS or coordinate or ground truth data, such as uh, what the species of this place, what the species no, of this no, place. No, no. Yeah. I, I, I haven't, uh, I have no uh, any coordinates. I need to, uh, the, uh, uh, to know the distribution of a specific region, not Saudi Arabia, Fakat, uh, just, but um, a distribution of them uh, in uh, whole the world. All over the world. Okay, so you want to classify the distribution all of the species in the Saudi Arabia region? Yeah. No, no, not not Saudi, not Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Uh, only, I need to know the distribution of a spe of a species all over the world. Is it uh, uh, um, uh, possible? No. Using this program. So what's the what's the algorithm you want to follow, or what's the algorithm or what's the methodology you have to follow in this time what i can't understand so, do you have any method or methodology how you will be work with the distribution mm. then it will also better so previous time you also send me a paper this paper i check it but there you had the coordinate or a specific location point then yes, the distribution yes. of the species but in this time if you have the any reference paper such as uh, who d don't use the specific uh, point or a specific coordinate, then we also follow this method. So first of all, you should follow the methodology, follow the process, what process yes. they are using. Okay, then we follow, uh, uh, apply this process. Okay, there is a no, uh, no anything. We can easily apply all of the method in Google Earth Engine platform, also other software. Okay, but first of all, we need to the 
फॉलो चार्ट और मेथोडोलॉजी और एल्गोरिदम एंड देन वी आल्सो नीड टू हैव द डेटा ओके सो विदाउट डेटा वी कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मस्ट बी डेटा देन वी आल्सो कैन डू एनालाइसिस और अदर थिंग्स ओके यस इज द लास्ट लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई आई सेंट यू एन इमेज या दैट यू वाज मी बिफोर या दिस इमेज आई गेट देम यूजिंग um using um modis um modis um so uh, it's called the era gross primary productivity yeah a day global 50 uh, meters i okay. use this uh, modis modis gross gross primary production that is you are using yes 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 okay But in uh, this time, give me this, it, this image. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want to discuss that I under, understood uh, from this uh, uh, image. Um, is this means uh, the, the the image that uh, appear? Uh, is this means uh, that um, uh, factors like uh, water temperature um, uh, affect on uh, vegetation? Yeah. Okay, so mainly you can see. I did you use this data set? Yeah, Tera gross primary yes. productivity eight day global five hundred meter data set. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So mainly this data set is the gross primary productivity. Yeah, mainly this is the data set is the total eight day composite. Okay, and this data set uh, based on the radiation use efficiency concept and the potentially use input the data models calculated the energy of carbon, water cycle. bio geochemistry of vegetation so vegetation yes. it can be vegetation uh, carbon as well as also water cycle process and bio you can see the band okay so you can see vpp it is the gross primary production okay also you can see net photosynthesis okay it also mm -hmm. uh, get the band from this and quality mm -hmm. bits as well as also you can see the all of the things uh the documentation user guide so you can follow the user guide then you can get all of the information about this data set how it will be work then algorithm theoretical basis document general documentation term of uses okay citation you can see they are already provide the paper link okay with this paper link they also put the citation so you can get all of the details information about this data set from those links okay the opening okay so mainly you can see user guide this is the gpp and annual npp okay so okay so you can get all of the information about the data set how it will be work and how it will be working You can see relating the NDVI, CPP, NPP. Okay, so all of the details you can easily get from this data set. Biophysical variability. Okay, all of the things you can get. You can see gross primary productivity and how it will be work for the gross primary productivity. All of the details we can get from these charts. Also, they provide the follow chart for the data set create. Okay, how following showing the logic behind the modis algorithm calculating the eight day average GPP and BP. gross primary production and net primary production okay also you can see the max the daily minimum temperature at which okay so they are also use here the different types of a factor also parameter okay as well as also you can see all of the details you can get from the daily uh, maintains the respiration and net, net photosynthesis how this data set will be work you can see so all of the information they are provided in here okay as well as you can also read this uh, paper then i hope you can easily understand all of the details about the data set and how it will be work and how you can use the data set okay because basically this page called name is the user guide okay any users who don't have anything about this data set they can read the paper and they can easily get the idea about the data set and they can easily apply this knowledge in their research work okay so this type of information you can get from the uh, you can see uh user's guide so all of the data set not only for this data 
any kind of data set you can get the user's guide in google earth engine platform and from the user's guide you can easily get all of the information about the data set how it will be used okay yes okay yes. okay so any question no no thank you okay 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 so in this time we started our today's class so so first of all mainly uh today i will try to discuss about this part calculate calculating llc classification area so previous day i also try to show you this part how you can easily work with a small region such as uh, any small uh, uh, city map we also try to create this map and then calculated the area but in this time we also try to show you that as a big region how you can easily work with this suppose you want to create the land use land cover classification map for saudi arabia region okay then you can calculate the all of the area so as uh, uh, then we also try to discuss about that calc accuracy assessment of land use LLC map how you can easily get the accuracy assess assessment of this map how to use the different types of classifier and check the accuracy and create the confusion matrix and how to create uh, the only one class map such as water area map build up area map and then finally how we can easily uh, work with this so we also try to discuss about this Okay, so first of all, calculating uh, LLC classification area. So mainly calculating, you can easily use the calculated as a vector data as well as also calculated the raster image. Okay, so I also try to show you the example. So I simply uh, open the code editor and from the code editor, I simply select the USDOS data set and import the USDOS data set. And from the USDOS data set, I want to filter for the Saudi Arabia country. So I simply use here suppose roi and then take a variable suppose table table and use here the filter how i can filter i want to filter art engine uh, filter dot equal then what's equal what i simply put here this value thus as i simply put here the i simply put here the country country in a then put here the value for Saudi Arabia. Then I simply use here this map dot add air function layer, and then use here the ROI and use here the map dot enter object. And use at the ROI, put at the value 10 and click the run. So you can say I can get the result for the Saudi Arabia region. So in this time, I want to calculate the area. You can see mainly this shape file is also called the vector. Okay. So there is a no image, it's the vector data. So in this time, I want to calculate the area. How much uh, area will be available for the Saudi Arabia region? Okay. For this region, how many area? How many, how much area is available? Okay. So we calculated the whole area from the Saudi Arabia region. Okay. So for this, I just simply use this code. So I simply take a variable. Suppose I simply take the variable and give the variable name suppose uh, a state. A state area. Okay. And then I simply call this ROI because this ROI is stored in my shape file. Okay. So there will be a shape file and i simply use it at the geo metry okay then i simply uh use here the area function area so mainly it calculated the area in a square meter okay a square meter so i want to print this i simply copy okay so state stat state i simply copy and paste here and click the run so now you can check i can get the area look like this and this unit is that square meter so now you can see here i can get this area look like this okay and this unit is that square meter so I want to change the unit. Suppose I need the unit as a, a square kilometer. Okay. Suppose I need this this result as a square kilometer. 
so for this i just simply uh use here this another port so just a minute So now you can see here, I simply put here the state area and then simply uh, calculate the area. This area is that uh, you can see a square meter, but I need to change the unit. Okay. Suppose I need the unit in the square kilometer. I want to need the result in square kilometer. Okay. So for this, I simply take a variable and put the variable name is the suppose uh, a state, a state um, area. You can use any variable name. I simply use the variable name square kilometer okay and then you can see this is the number okay when you want to define any number you need to use at the e, e dot number function okay so this is the function so mainly we are using this function for um, on a track a new number okay so i simply copy this state area because this number is storing in a variable this variable name is that state area okay so i simply paste here okay now i want to check what's the value i want to get okay in this time i need to use at the conversation meter to a square kilometer so mainly when you want to convert convert uh, a meter to a square kilometer you need to just divide with one million okay so i simply use at the divide function divide with one million so one million means that one into ten to the word six okay so this is scientific notation is that one e one is six okay so this is the scientific notation okay this is the scientific notation for calcul conversation between the meter square to square kilometer so now i want to just check the result i simply print this print this state area i simply copy and paste here and click the run so now you can say i can get the result this is the unit is that square kilometer okay so this unit is that square kilometer okay so in this time you want to check the result i also check the result we can say what is the difference so you can check the result so the arabia area in a square kilometer i want to check the value 2.15 million okay so 2.15 million or we can say that square kilometer so it's totally uh, depend only for the boundary area so in this time you can see almost we uh, on uh, 2 million okay so almost 2 million okay so this area is almost 2 million you can see in this time this unit you can see uh, a square kilometer okay so we can calculate the area okay uh, full area so this boundary area how much area will be available in this region we can calculate the area in a square kilometer in this time here you can see I want to get the result. Uh, okay, I, I take a phone, then continue. Just a minute. I have an urgent phone. Just a minute. Okay. okay can you hear me yes okay okay so okay so we can get the area in vector calculate the vector area so in this time i need to add i need to add a land use land cover classification map for this whole region of saudi arabia okay but in this time i not use the land set image 
I not use the sentinel image. I use here the modis satellite image. Okay. So you can see, I simply go to here and click on the modis. So modis is already provide you the ready-made data set. You can see, um, I use the data set and try to make the land use land cover classification map. So modis, um, modis land use land cover data set. Okay. So this is the data set modis land cover. I want to simply click to here. So this is the global data set. You can see global 500 meter resolution, this data set. The data set ability is that you can see, we can get the data set from year of 2001 from 2020. Okay. I can get the data set from this time period. In this time, I use the data set and make the land use land cover classification map for this region. Okay. So let's go. So, okay. So first of all, I need to simply copy the Earth engine snippet. This is the unique ID of this data set. I simply copy and then simply paste here. Okay. <clears throat> then I simply take a variable such as you can use any variable name. I can simply put the variable name is that um suppose bar modis modis um, L U L C. Okay. <clears throat> I simply put the variable name is the modis L U L C and then I need to use here, I need to filter the data set. You can see. This data set has a some band. Okay, you can see this band. Mainly this band, you can see LC type 1, LC type 2, LC type 3, LC type 4, LC type 5. Okay. So <clears throat> what is the LC type 1? So LC type 1 is the land cover type 1. It is the annual international geosphere and biosphere classification. Okay. This classification provides the IGBP. It means the geosphere, biosphere, and program classification. Okay. I want to use at the LC type 1 classification. Okay. In this time, you can see from the LC type 1, there are also classes. You can see LC type 1 class. They are classified total 17 classes. 17 classes. What is the one? You can see evergreen reed leaf forest, evergreen broadleaf forest, deciduous neat leaf forest, deciduous broadleaf forest, mixed forest, close shrubland, open shrubland, woody savanna, savanna, grassland. Permanent wetland, cropland, build up, uh, urban and build up, cropland and vegetation, permanent snow and ice, barren and water bodies. Okay. So they are classified all of the classes. Okay. So in this time, I want to use this LC type 1. So I simply, uh, okay. So I simply copy this band name LC type 1. And then I just simply take a variable. Suppose. I simply take the variable and give the variable name is the suppose filter red. Okay, filter red. Then I simply call the variable name modis LULC. Modis LULC. And then I just simply filter. So I simply use the filter. Okay. I simply use the art engine filter tape. You can see. If you want, you can easily use the use the function look like this. Or if you want, you can also use the function directly filter. Right. No problem. Okay, you can use any one. Yes, yes. I simply use here the filter date, and then I simply put here the time period is that suppose hmm, I want to make the map for year of two thousand nineteen. Okay, so <coughs> one. Then I simply put here the 2019 December 31 okay I filter it okay after the filter I need to select you can see here year of 2009 how much image I want to get can you guess it how much image I want to get for this land use land cover classification only one image because you can see it's the yearly data set okay so each year you can get the one image. When you want to use yes. the two year, you can get the two image because this is the yearly. So in this time you can see yes. here I use the code and I use here the only for the one year. So I can get the only for the one uh, images. Okay. So for this mm -hmm. I simply take a variable and give the variable name is that suppose land cover 2019 and then I simply use the ee dot image. Okay. Then ee dot image and I simply call the field this variable and then I simply use here the first function. Okay. <laughs> first means that I take the first image. Actually, this is the only for the one image for the 
uh, yearly uh, images, only one year images or annual image collection. In this time, yes. I need to select this um, band. So I simply take a variable and give the variable name is that suppose classified. You can use any name, no problem. Classified and then call the land cover 2019. Okay. And use at the select function. Select. Um, I simply call the my band name. So my band name is the LCDF1. I simply copy and then simply paste here. I simply paste here. Okay. LCDF1 paste here. I simply paste here. And then, mm -hmm. um, okay, so it's done. So in this time, I want to show the result. So I simply use add the map dot add layer. Add layer. And then I simply copy the classified and paste here. I click to the run. It will be loaded, but I did not get the visualization. I want to add the visualization so that I can easily identify this is the urban, this is the water body, this is the cropland. Okay. So they are already provide the some demo code you can see in here. They are already provide the some demo code. Mm. So they are already provide some demo code in here. So I simply copy this code from here. Okay. So, okay. So I simply copy, you can see. I simply copy this code. Mm. They are total class 17. From 1 to 17, you can see LC type 1, LC type 1 from value 1 to 17. 17. So in this time, mm. I simply paste here. I simply mm. paste here. And then simply copy. They are using here the different types of color for different types of feature for the whole world. Mm. Okay. I simply mm. copy and paste here and click to the run. Yes. So now I can get the result for the whole world land use land cover classification map. You can see for the whole world. First time I can get the for whole world. But I don't need for the whole world. I need only for the Saudi Arab. You can see. I also ne Next I also clip it. So I can see. I can get the whole world land use land cover classification map. For year of 2019. Okay, for the whole world. Okay. In this time. I don't, not for, I don't need for the whole world. I need only for the Saudi Arabia region. Okay. So then I also try to classify this region. Oh, then, uh, yeah. Um, what does it mean of this uh, color? Uh, so, okay, means I also, what, I also uh, try to discuss mean. later, just a minute. So in this time, I don't know how much class is available for the Saudi Arabia. Okay, we also need to check the class, all of the class. We need to check what the class is available in here. So you need to check the class. Then, then understand this class is for water. This class is for build up area. This color is for uh, water body. Okay. Then we'll understand. So in this time, you can say I can get the result. Look like this. Whole world classification. In this time, I need the classification for the Saudi Arab. This region. Mm -hmm. So for this, I just clip. I just clip with my shape file. So I just simply take a variable. Suppose I take the variable and give the variable name is the study mm -hmm. area. <laughs> you can put any variable name. No problem. You can see. Yes, yes. Uh, first time you also, uh, when I want to work with the NDVI for the modern region, you did not appear the Modena only for the Modi Modena. It's showing the whole of Saudi Arab. Okay, so this problem is the class uh, your clip function. You can see in this time this map for the whole world map is stored in a variable. This variable name is the classified. Okay, I simply copy the classified and paste here. This classified I just clip. I simply use the clip function. Clip with my shape file variable name. My shape file variable name is that ROI because Saudi Arabia is stored at the ROI. I simply copy the yes. ROI and paste here. After this, I want to show the result for study area. I simply copy the study area and paste here and click to the run. You can see now I can get the result only for the Saudi Arabia region. Yes. And in this region, I don't know how much class is available in this region. How uh, you can see this is my whole area map. Uh, I, so there will be a map, land is land. But I don't know what is the color mean. What is the what this type of color mean? I don't know. In this time, mm -hmm. I need to show all of the class value. Okay. So all of the class value I want to show. Suppose in this time, uh, you want to identify only for the build up area. In this map, you want to identify only for the build-up area. Okay, you want to identify only for the build-up. Suppose you want to need the map for the build-up area, where the build-up region is available. 
or where the water body is available you want to identify okay so in this time from this map i want to select only for the build up region so you can see it's called the single layer map suppose i want to create only for the build up area map okay this type of map i want to create suppose i want to need only for the water body map i want to need only for the vegetation map i want to need only for the cropland map okay so then we also classified all of the things uh, to, together so for this you can see i simply take a variable and give the variable name is the urban urban okay urban i put the variable is the urban or urban area or build up area then yes. i simply copy the study area okay i simply copy the study area because this full map is stored in the study area okay from this full map i select i use here the equal function i select here the equal to select the value for the build up area what's the value for the build up area i can get the value from here you can see urban or build up area showing the 13 this value is the 13 pro plan for the 12 mm -hmm. i want to use the 13 because this is the b urban and build up area okay so i simply use here the 13 mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. i just use here the 13 in this time and show the mm -hmm. result i simply use here the map dot add layer and then i simply use here the urban i simply copy the variable name urban and paste here and then i just simply uh, add here the visualization suppose i want to show the mean it will be start from the zero and max up to one i get only for the one class and then i simply use here the plated function plate and make a list i want to use a two color i want to show where there is the no urban it's showing as a gray color okay gray color and where is the urban it's showing the red color okay and i also put this map name is that urban click the run so now you can find out the only for the urban area of saudi arabia region you can see it created the another map urban okay so now i can get only for the urban area you can see okay you can see i can get the only for the urban area all of the urban area now appear it for the saudi arabia year of 2022 uh, 2019 okay you can see so it's the urban area map of saudi arabia region okay here you can see we can get the some urban in here so in this time you can see uh this uh these types of gray color identify the urban area you can see okay, so this is the urban map you can see Okay, you can so urban it. gray color or red color? Red color urban. Urban is a red color. Yeah. So this red color red identify color. the urban area. And you want to check the satellite yes. image. I think this is also urban also possibly available in here. Riyadh. I think this is a Riyadh. So it must be lot of urban area. Okay, so there are the totally urban area you can see. Or build up area we can find out suppose in this time i showing the urban area map suppose you want to show for the water map is available is the uh, gra uh, ground water is available or not i want to check it so for this can i check uh, them for a specific uh, city like mecca or medina yeah can I apply them for a specific city like Mecca or Medina or Riyadh? Okay, then you also Choose. need to app, uh, app, import your shape file. Suppose yes, yes, by, by, the, by, the, by the previous uh, uh, sequences. Yeah. Is it? Yes. Yeah, but you can see you need to import the shape file of the, all of the province of the Saudi Arabia. That's it. You can see this. It, yes, yes, I know. I yeah. know. I know. Just uh, I ask you. I know. I yeah, know okay. Them. Okay. Then you can simply import your shape file of the Modena or Makka. Then simply just clip with this Modena and Makka. Then you can get the result. Yes. Okay. Okay. Suppose in this time you want to show the map for the water body. So you need to find out the water yes. body value. So what is the water body? You can see. When water, savanna, grassland. Water bodies. Uh, water bodies. Water, uh, water bodies. Uh, under, underground or above ground water. So underground is available or not in here? Underground water bodies, uh, barren, uh, permanent, snow, 
cropland build up cropland permanent wetland permanent wetland is available underground is not available okay so i can use, use yeah. this 17 for the water bodies and check so i simply use the 17 and suppose in this time i want to show the water as a green, blue color i simply use the blue It doesn't give uh, any. So now you can check if the any blue pixel is available. Then we can find out this is the water body. Otherwise, there is the no water body or other thing. You can check it. Okay, we did not find any know. water yes. body. Yes, just expected. Okay, so you can check the permanent water body is available or not. So what? we can check this value for the permanent water. Okay. So, you can check uh, crop land. Okay, we'll also check this. <coughs> okay, it's not available. I want to check the crop plant. So I simply use the crop plant 12. Here the 12. Okay, I simply paste here 12. Okay, then use at the crop plant. I want to show the crop plant as a yellow color. Yellow. Okay, then click to the run. Yes. So now I want to show the another map layer in here for the only for the crop plant. Year of 2019. Okay, we can get the very little water bowl. No, with land. Okay, so the crop plant you can see. So this is the type of yellow color it's showing the crop land. Yes. Also some crop plant in here. Also some crop land you can see. Some crop plant also in here. So this type is a crop plant. Uh, yes. Different types of crop. I think not the rice, dew, or sugar, and other things. I don't know what the crop. But this is the crop. And crop plant. Cropland yeah. means uh, cultivation or cultivated or uh, wild uh, plant. Okay, we can check it. Cropland, it or at least the area cultivated, cultivated cropland. Cultivated, yeah, yes, cultivated yes. cropland. Mm. So you can check it. Look like this process. Suppose you want to need only for the cropland map, then you can easily uh, get the result, and you want to export this map. Suppose then you need uh, only export the cropland map. You can. I already show you this part. How you can easily export the map. And work with dark map software. We can easily get this map and we can easily work with this okay, for the cropland map. As yes. well as any types of, we can simply put the value. In this time, you want to calculate how many cropland is available in this Saudi Arabia region. How much, how much area is covered by the cropland? How much area? Okay, we just follow the method just a minute so you can see. We check the value. How much area? is available for the cropland so for this i just simply mm, take a variable suppose i take the variable name is that i simply put the variable name. okay so this is the cropland i simply change the name for the i simply use the cropland okay and then simply copy the variable cropland and paste here okay then i simply put the name is the area area image area image this area image i want to calculate the crop plan I simply call the crop plan and paste here paste here okay and then i simply use at the multiply function multiply okay and then use at the e dot image dot dot pixel area okay pixel area i simply use this function e dot image the pixel area and then i just simply take the another variable suppose this variable name is that area area then you say the area image a copy and paste here area image paste here and then i need to use a function it's called the reduce 
region okay reduce region and then i simply put all of the argument one by one i simply use here the curly bracket start as well as also curly bracket in okay then reducer i simply put here the reducer i want to calculate the whole area or total area ee dot reducer dot sum okay then use here the geometry geometry is that i simply put here the roi a scale is the 500 meter Okay, then it's not need. I simply remove uh, max pixel is need. Use that the max pixel value is that one is thirteen. 